Yo, what's up? I've been getting a lot of feedback when I mentioned something the other day about, you know, volume being flipped up, that the, when the steroids got bigger in bodybuilding, guys started doing less, which meant the people that weren't doing steroids thought they could do basically the same kind of volume and get the results. And, you know, I talked about how it's, I think that's fucked up. Motherfuckers got a little twisted when the drugs got big in bodybuilding, and I'll tell you why. The old dudes back in the day, their volume is like the volume that we do. That's what makes the body change, okay? But the problem is, when everybody started taking more drugs, they started doing less shit because they have to do as much stuff. So people got it flipped up. Today's video is really about that they're not needed, everybody. Like, when I was 20 years old, getting into bodybuilding, and I started to realize what was really going down, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't go that route. And here's what the difference was. I was able to accomplish everything that I set out without drugs. It took me longer because it took more work because I'm not a crazy gifted guy, but I'll outwork all motherfuckers. Like I'm, I just know it, right? For decade, 15 years, 20 years, I've been grinding, I've been grinding, I've been grinding. And eventually when the time was right, when the light was supposed to be shed on what I was doing, it didn't go on deaf ears. So let me explain what that is. Whenever I would have had the opportunity to do magazine covers, big bodybuilding shows, you know, or any of these things exposure wise, when I was in my early twenties, I might have been able to do it. The key word is might if I took drugs earlier. The internet wasn't as busy. No one would have had a fucking clue who I was. There was no story. And for me, I'm not judging you. For me, I couldn't look at my son when I taught him how to lift weights and tell him that daddy did it plus using drugs. It just wasn't for me. Once again, I have friends. I know tons of people that take drugs. I never cast anything on them. This is a personal item, everybody, right? But what I'm gonna show you, we're in old school gym, one of the top 10 most hardcore gyms in the country. When people walk in, they know they're gonna work. Like this is what breeds like success to me, right? And what I was able to accomplish without drugs is what you're gonna see behind me, right? This is the trophy case of just Dustin and I's trophies from powerlifting, from bodybuilding, like two dr drug-free guys, right? Now, is there a Mr. Olympia trophy up there or something crazy? No, there's not, but I had good success that helped build my career. Then, you know, when I was in high school, I told people I was gonna be on the cover of magazines. Once again, when I met my first agent, I probably weighed barely 170. He said, guys that are on covers right now are 205 and more ripped than you are at 170. And I said, well, you know what? I I'm not gonna take drugs, so I'll just keep working. Eight years later, the first cover came out. Eight years later, right? 11 now, 11, 11 no drugs. If these would have came earlier, let's say I would have took drugs and they would have came earlier. It didn't matter. Cause I don't think anybody would have had a clue. Like I didn't have any content around. Like I think it just wouldn't have paid off as much. This story is much better to me. This is the one I want to tell my kids. You feel me? So, so it's not even stopping there. Now let's come on back here because it's not just about the look, right? It's about what's the like, What's the strength that too? Well, Corey, I know like these guys that are doing all these crazy weights, you know, they take drugs. Can I build up a level of strength? Yeah. When I started squatting every day, once again, they said the Bulgarians, the Soviets, all these guys that squat every day, they all took drugs. You can't recover from it, man. Fuck that. You can, right? So then here's the new board at old school. We just got it done. 1400 raw at 181, 1475 raw at 198, elite totals raw no drugs. So like when I see a 20 year old kid that asked me, should I take drugs? I always say no, because you don't need them. Everybody, the advances in nutrition, the amount of supplements you have, the amount of knowledge you have on the internet. And at the end of the day, old fashioned, hard motherfucking work, volume recovery and minding like your business and taking care of yourself. It can make some truly amazing results. I've been doing this my whole life and I'm telling you, you don't need them. They're not needed a hundred percent. And I proved it and will continue to prove it at 38 years old, at between 36 and 40, which I'm not there yet, but I'm doing some of the biggest numbers of my life. I've looked, you know, some of the best We're doing anabolic fasting, the new skews at max effort muscle squatting every day. The things that I've 
you know, brought back from the past, put my own spin on, have had amazing results. The Get Stack program, squatting daily, using volume, golden era, all these unique techniques, all these unique forms, like it can make the body do amazing things. So I plead with you, I don't believe it's worth it. Steroids are just not needed.